Namaskaram. Today we are going to discuss Patanjali Yoga Sutras, Sutra number 20 from Samadhi Pada. So we have been discussing Patanjali Yoga Sutras for quite some time. After a long break, we are going to start with Sutra number 20. So Sutra 19 we had discussed about two type of yogis. One is uh, Videhas and uh, second is Prakriti Layas. So here in Sutra number 20, Patanjali Yoga Sutras is giving this to the general audiences like us who could able to use these five effective habits in the Sutra to become a perfect yogi. So let's uh, share the sutra screen for you. So uh, sutra grows like this. Please repeat uh, this uh, sutra along with me. Shraddha, Virya, Smriti, Samadhi, Pragna, Purvaga, Itari, Sham. So repeat. Please uh, also you can see the document and uh, you can recite along with me. Shraddha, Virya, Smriti, Samadhi, Pragna, Purvaga, Ita, Resham. Shraddha, Virya, Smriti, Samadhi, Pragna, Purvaga, Ita, Resham. So here, uh, Ita, Resham means of others. So uh, the Purvaga is the presided by. So in the previous sutra, Whatever we have discussed, like uh, we have discussed about uh, Videhas and Prakriti Layas, uh, they are like uh, a privileged, they got a privileged birth because they want to come back uh, as an incarnation or as a Siddha Purusas like uh, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa or Ramana Magarisis who just want to come back uh, to guide the uh, samskaras uh, towards a direction uh, and path uh, to showcase that there is a path for every one of us uh, that could reach us Kaivalya. So, but uh, uh, most of us uh, in this uh, Puloga, in this Manasya body, are uh, sufferers, right? We have been suffering on a day to day basis uh, in the samskaras. So, uh, for us, uh, this is a sutra. Padanjali Magarisi is giving out five important habits that we could inculcate with every one of us so that even uh, the non-believers or uh, the believers or even the advanced stages of yogis could be able to take this as a guidance, uh, develop these characteristics and qualities and achieve the pinnacle of yoga. So uh, let's uh, discuss these five important habits. So I'm just uh, closing the screen so that I can focus uh, more on the discussions which I want to discuss with you. So just uh, main, you just see these five habits like Shraddha, Virya, Smriti, Samadhi, Pragna. These are the five habits, five effective habits to become a perfect yogi. Okay. So now I am uh, discussing uh, each one of the habits in a little, little more uh, practical manner for us to understand. First is Shraddha. So Shraddha means uh, intense faith. So uh, for any activities, be it a material achievement or, or uh, be it a spiritual progression, we need to have faith and belief in the particular Kriya, the action that we are doing. So, uh, if you, if if we are a non-believer also, there needs to be some faith to make us be, uh, understand uh, that there is nothing that is exists. For a believer, uh, maybe the starting level of uh, going to temple, perceiving the energy and getting that energy while visiting the temple, which has been stored in the garbagraha from the kumba. So we are going to the temple to get that energy and uh, 
we feel very happy being connected to the spiritual uh, ecstasy second is uh, through japa or uh, uh, satsang so associating with devotees in bhakti we could able to uh, get connected so all this is faith because since we have faith and shraddha we could able to uh, reach these different levels also uh, after that temple i mean there are advanced processes like uh, japa chanting the japa mantras uh, doing the yagyas homams uh, the smaller homams or the maha yagyas uh, and doing the tapas doing the mandra shastra one mandala like 48 days of continuous mandras mandra japa after the homam which is very very effective so all this is uh, getting us connected uh, to the divine energy and vibrations so that also you need to have shraddha and the fi- and also uh, even in the yogic practices even in the tantric saivism uh, so uh, we need to have the complete faith in what we are doing complete faith in the guru who is teaching us the practices or the philosophies so only with shraddha we could able to transcend and elevate to the higher realm of understanding as well as we could practice by completely getting in what the gurus or other scriptures are saying okay so faith is very important so second habit second highly effective habit is virya so virya means shakti power the determination and will to achieve something so once we have shraddha that is faith is it enough will the is the faith uh, only enough is the kriya not okay so we need to act on the faith so we need to pers- be a determined and persist on whatever faith we have for that we need high level of energy for that we need the virya the shakti to become succeed in whatever actions that we are taking in our hand so that's why panjala magarisi is telling the second very effective habit yes virya which is shakti okay with shraddha added with the virya faith added with high power and determination that is a shakti uh, so we could able to achieve very huge success which are limited space of time so second is virya the third is smriti so smriti means memory or recalling something okay so but uh, here uh, padanjali magarisi is not just telling about the material remainders like remembering the daily course remembering the anniversary or remembering uh, the achievements or remembering things that is being in the material so but here padanjali magarisi is asking us to remember apply smriti in the stages of practices so uh, so when we reach the highest stages like being a yogi when we reach uh, the samadhi level when we reach that samadhi level in yogic practices we will be dealing with subject object uh, connectivity uh, to reach the different energy vibrational dimensional uh, realm so when you are uh, getting into the ethereal realm uh we need we need to have some support systems or some anubhava some experiences will be felt in uh different uh realm of the spiritual progression so smriti is very important to be applied that point of time because that memory of that experience or the or the anubhava is is a kind of uh, recalling when we get into the practice the next time so we need to start with where we have left so the smriti is very very important uh, because uh, it help us to move to the next stage of our practice also uh, smriti here panjali agarwal magarisi is also meaning the past life remembrance when you get more deeper into your sukshma in your um, vignana maya kosha transcending your mananmaya kosha getting into the vignana maya kosha before getting into the ananda maya kosha we would have already crossed uh, crossed the subconscious layers 
so we would get the memories of your past life so these practices will give us unstudied or something that nobody had taught us we are get directly getting into those process of sadhanas because of our past life smritis that's why this smriti developing this smriti capabilities as a habit is very very important naturally also it will come but with some shraddha with faith and with some strong will and shakti along with that when we apply smriti we could able to completely apply pratyahara concentration and focus to our sadhana which will ultimately bring success in our yogic practices the fourth thing which panjali agarisi forced habit effective habit that panjali agarisi magarisi wants us to do is achieve is samadhi so samadhi here means uh, absorption absorption at different layers on different levels initially it might be an absorption with staying in the center saying in the madhya mainly samadhi is uh, to stay at madhya from gross level like uh, detaching from the dualities of life detaching from the dualities of uh, samskaras like the uh, like pain and happiness good mood or bad mood good thoughts bad thoughts so uh, making the thought cease, cease from all the fluctuations so we need to stay balanced for that we need to get absorbed in center so we need to be in equilibrium we need to make our mind not function thought we need to have a thought free state that is a nityananda state so when you achieve the nityananda state we need to be there in the complete awareness so be it initial level of uh, crossing the dualities getting into the uh, sukshma layers where during our uh, yogic practices even if you i think most of them will be knowing about uh, chakra uh, like uh, nadis and all those uh, basic things like ida pingala and susumna so staying at susumna is also a madhya and crossing the sukshma staying in the center uh, also mean uh, in saptopaya level where we will be staying in the same dimensions uh, which will help us to reach the sambhavopaya like uh, sadashiva state and then being at the same sadashiva state without any deviation getting to experience without any deviance without any fall down uh, making ourselves get in union with supreme consciousness we as an individual consciousness getting in union with supreme consciousness we becoming bhairava or bhairavi we become isura that's our ultimate ambition so to achieve that we need to deal with supporting systems right we need to have supports at different layer like in uh, first layer we need to support in sukshma layer in saptopaya stage we will have support dealing with nadi and nadi supports uh, elemental support we can we might be getting support of five element like we'll get support on five year we get absorbed to the uh, five year we'll get absorbed uh, in samadhi to uh, agni water it vayu so all those five elements crossing transcending this five element and then we'll get absorbed to the 36 tattva layers tattva layers also and then we will uh, detach from all those and we will just get into the non dual uh, practices where we will only have support with light or like uh, sounds like pranava mantras like om or shreem klim so like that so we will then again move forward um, uh, to get uh, releasing that support also uh, you know another samadhi level which is the non support uh, samadhi level where there uh, it's a nirodha state where there is no thoughts no supports nothing so we'll be directly uh, getting into the anuttara state okay so that this level of absorption we need to get absorbed in each level stay at each level in without any thoughts we just the consciousness 
accessing the support layers of samadhi so so this four like shraddha faith virya with faith and with strength and with remembrance of the dream different dreams of support systems smriti and then with samadhi with absorbing utilizing this four habits or avati habits we are get, uh, getting into that samadhi different layers of samadhi and achieving the nirota state of samadhi so and uh, patanjali magarishi is not stopping in this four affective habits to achieve to be a perfect yogi there is a fifth habit that is very very important that is pragna pragna means wisdom the highest wisdom which is getting us to a cognitive trance that wisdom is the wisdom of discriminating wisdom of discriminating even at the samadhi level so at the highest nirodha level of samadhi what is that we could discriminate the, the what could we discriminate just imagine so why even the siddha purushas the magarishis are falling down we have heard lot of history like mahamuni viswamitra falling down so lot of sages falling down from their path so these are all uh, not just Uh, puranas okay these are all telling us even when we achieve the highest stage of yogic practices the discrimination power needs to be there the discrimination needs to uh, indicate the wisdom will guide us between real and unreal so we need to discriminate our purusha the individual consciousness with the false ego initially we will be discriminating our soul the consciousness the consciousness is getting attached the karmic sea the samskara is been attaching to the consciousness so initially the discrimination is to find out and burn those karmic seeds by utilizing lot of uh, vedic uh, mantra sadhanas to dissolve those karmic layers and the and after some time we will be like performing the yogic practices the yagya and yogic practices yagya practices to dissolve the karma karmic seeds and then we will also do different higher level of yogic practices to get into the realm of the karmic ethereal layers to burn the karmic seeds ourselves so that the particular pain or happiness that is been coming to us through navagrahas or through uh, the the jyotish uh, karmic part of it could be dissolved so that could be possible even by yogic practices completely getting into the top of that layer of uh, karmic uh, seeds we can when we burn the karmic seeds we could able to stop the sufferings and pain we could able to completely erase the karmic seeds so we become what is remaining is just a soul the consciousness the bhairava which is part and parcel of iswara so the final layers even though there we uh, only soul is there karma is been dropped down there is still the false ego thinking that we are beyond everything we are supreme so that false ego will will definitely give us drop that's why uh, kriya yoga it's a 360 degree of practice like it involves also iswara pranidana not only the yogic practices it involves iswara pranidana abhyasya vairagya and iswara pranidana along with ashtanga along with eight yogas asana pranayama pratyahara yama niyama yama niyama are basic social and individual uh, ethics yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana and samadhi so this eight you, stages of yoga is very very important so for us to make sure we become a perfect yogi and the pragna the discrimination is very very important to not fall down even when we reach the top so even when we reach the top with the practices by advancing the practices with vairagya and uh, self study with all those five effective habits in this sutra 
we should have pregna and the very important thing after we discriminate we should have is for a pranidana which will help us not fall down from the heights of pinnacle of achieving this perfect yogi stage i hope uh, this sutra is very much understandable to you so please practice these five habits and be happy in your life om tat sat om tat sat om tat sat sarvam sarvatma thank you very much please subscribe to our vedi books youtube channel by clicking on the bell icon